President Donald Trump is back in Washington tonight after a whirlwind trip out west. Earlier today, the president signed a bill that this makes it easier one. for veterans to appeal disability claims. He also delivered scripted remarks before the American Legion in Reno just one day after his freewheeling rally in Phoenix. CBS's Wee Zha Zhang is at the White House. President Trump arrived back at the White House hours after delivering a message of unity before the nation's largest veterans group. We are one people with one home and one great flag. Less than a day earlier, the president went off on the media during a rally in Phoenix for its coverage of his response to the racially charged protests in Charlottesville. If you want to discover the source of the division in our country, look no further than the fake news and the crooked media. The president read from remarks he issued about the violence. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. But he left out the part of the statement that caused all the controversy. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. Back here in Washington, the White House is also fighting back against reports the president is locked in a bitter feud with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. According to the New York Times, a heated phone call earlier this month triggered the conflict, during which the president berated McConnell for the Senate's failure to overhaul Obamacare. They said, Mitch, get to work and let's get it done. In an effort to dispel rumors, both leaders issued separate statements today saying they remain united on shared priorities. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, the White House. President Trump also last night threatened a government shutdown over funding his proposed Mexican border wall. House Speaker Paul Ryan today said a shutdown would not be in Republicans' best interest and would not be necessary.